seven machines that eat trees for lunch and ask for more. Hello viewers, this time we have brought an amazing video for you. In this video, we will talk about machines that eat trees for lunch and ask for more. Number 1. Biojack 300E The Biojack 300 Energy Wood Grapple is suitable for primary thinning, falling trees in problematic locations, removing wind throw, and collecting energy timber. The grapple can be used in governmental applications such as removing roadsides and parks. Because of the movable blade, both falling and loading may be done without any extra changes. There is no need to remove the blade for loading since it is securely stowed inside the frame when in the loading position. Do you guys know that its installation is simple and quick? Other than a pressure and return pipe, no extra hydraulics are necessary. This Biojet Grapple's technical features ensure that roots are cut low and that the cutting result is smooth. The Biojack 300 Energy Wood Grapple comes complete with delimbing grapples. Number 2. Ponzi Scorpion King Ponzi Scorpion King, the most powerful tree cutter, has arrived. The name Ruler refers to the fact that it will be the king of the woods and will be able to clear it in a single day. It is so quick that it is terrifying to leave it alone in the woods. There will be no trees left by the end of the day. Ponzi, the company that produced the machine, must be a tree lover since they created a machine that eats the tree and poops it out. Because he is in control of the tree cutter, the driver will be safeguarded at all times in the cabin of this equipment. He has all the controls within the cockpit, which is secured and will not be broken if a tree falls on it. Number 3. CBI Chipmax 484 Portable The Chipmax 484 is a heavy-duty biomass production machine that is small in size yet extremely productive. Their essential components, such as the rotor, chipper box, and feed system, are considerably stronger than those of any other chipper in its class, guaranteeing years of trouble-free service for owners. The Chipmax, which has two rotor options, can produce high-quality fuel chips specially sized for 12 to 25 millimeters or microchips from 2 to 12 millimeters from logs up to 24 inches in diameter. These microchips generate a uniform fiber length, lowering the total cost of generating pellets and improving the performance of tiny boilers. Furthermore, the 12 feet by 48 foot feed conveyor has trough sides, an effect plate at the bottom, a 17 foot diameter head and tail pulley, and is powered by a Polk Lane hydraulic motor with extreme high torque. Number 4. Narva S23 Stroke Harvester The Narva S23 is simple and straightforward to use. The needed oil flow is only 40 liters per minute, and installation is simple due to the lack of extra hydraulics or power. All functionalities are managed by a single grappling open-close valve. Tilt is a mechanical function. With the delimbing stroke, the head can be locked in a vertical position. When a tree is cut, the head can be tilted by using the delimbing stroke movement, which causes the weight of the tree trunk to tilt the head. The grapple open-close valve is used to decline back and forward between. Grippers and delimbing blades are automatically operated by sequence valves. When the delimbing stroke reaches its maximum position and the pressure hits a limit, the cutting blade begins to cut. Number 5. John Deere H414 the H414 was specially built for the mid-size John Deere 1170E and 1270E wheel harvesters. The H414 has a high power-to-weight ratio and a small footprint, making it very responsive even in thick thinning stands. The primary frame is machined as a single piece, resulting in high-dimensional precision. New feed roller arms include stronger bearings, built-in feed roller guards, strengthened cylinders and pins, and well-protected hose routing. The outlines of the stem are followed by four moving delimbing knives, one fixed top knife, and one fixed rear knife. Moreover, the H414's improved knife geometry and large cutting edges ensure excellent delimbing quality throughout all stem diameters. The Supercut 100 saw unit has a maximum felling diameter of 620 millimeters, allowing it to operate well from early thinnings through early regeneration felling. Number 6. 
SP451LF. Since 2001, the SP451LF has been the unchallenged king of thinning tasks. The FP461LF includes a number of significant improvements and modifications that increase both productivity and performance, as well as reliability and ease of maintenance. Hydraulic valve bank have been updated with a new arrangement for increased reliability and energy efficiency. Some features provide faster speeds, new and improved 20cc saw motor, new length measuring device with better hydraulic operation and a more durable construction, improved pin assembly and expander pins on exposed places newly strengthened saw box for better root flail handling. Increase the height of the saw box by 20 millimeters to reduce snow packing. For increased durability, the frame has been strengthened. Number 7. Warata HTH624C Warata's Big Timber Tackling HTH624C Harvester Head proven in medium to large wood harvesting and processing, can easily handle species such as radiata pine, poplar, and aspen up to 81 millimeters, 32 inches in diameter. It's a very productive processor because of its tough frame, huge synchronized feed rollers, great driving power, and precision delimbing quality. Whether you're at a landing or felling and processing at a stump, a back wheel head component for increased protection and less shock load, an enlarged top saw cut capacity of 16 to 20 inches, superior hose routing, an upsized main saw from 30 to 34 inches, a stronger hanging bracket, a larger frame, and a variety of feed roller choices are all available. Furthermore, it is connected with the timber right and log right control and measurement systems, which provide the accuracy required for accurate processing even in extreme environments. So viewers, hope you enjoyed the video. We are excited to hear from you. Let us know your point of view on today's topic in the comment section below. For our new viewers, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Like and share this video with your friends and family. We shall catch you soon in another inspiring video. Good day to you.